Today is gonna be epic. We're gonna have a good time looking at games, doing pickups, doing a Q&A, a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna be darn right fun. Knock, knock on Repo's door. I, 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 yeah. Knocking on Repo's door. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's me, Gabo, without beer. Without a beer? Lately, something you haven't told the audience yet, how I kind of picked the Genesis is gonna be like the console I'm going for, the thing I'm collecting. Gabo! I got an announcement. Let's hear it, baby. <laughs> yeah! Oh, my nippy. So, since we are going back to game hunting, uh, I decide to go with... Uh... Game Boy! I'm going full... Full, full, full on Game Boy now. So just like how I'm going full in, all in on Genesis, Gabo was like, hey, that looks really fun, that looks really exciting, kind of picking one console to hold strong. Gabo's going all in on Game Boy, so with that. I'm gonna start from scratch. I don't even have a Game Boy console. I'm on the hunt now, bad bad. What? I'm gonna tell the camera what I'm gonna do here. What I'm gonna do, uh -oh. this is what we do in the squad. Gabo's starting. I don't have much Game Boy stuff, but the stuff I do have is pretty cool. Uh -oh. And I'm gonna straight up give it to you, bro. Uh -oh, really? It's uh -oh. yours. Well, I cannot call you the Rifo, the Game Boy Stoller. I'm not the speaker. Hey, stoller. Ricky, learn from this guy, man. Uh, I, I felt bad, but at the same time, I'm like, bro, I really want these. Where's my speakers? <laughs> Gabo, turn around. I na, got na, 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 for na, you na. and it's Game Boy games and no they're way. in my really? hand. You got something else in your hand. They're import games, but they're good ones. See if you know what they are. Enjoy. Oh, dude. What are they? I need my glasses. So that's this metal slug, bro. Shot. Yeah, I was going to say that. Tetris. Yeah. I think this is the first game that I ever play on Game Boy. And it's awesome, man. Who doesn't like Tetris? You like Tetris before? Oh, I love Tetris. Did you hit your pee pee? Yes. Uh, That's the only one I don't know what it is. Do you? Because if not, we can show the audience and they can tell us. Uh, to be honest, I don't have any Let's idea. Let's show the camera. People in the audience. Please. What is this one? Wait, I'm going to zoom in. Help! I need Wait, somebody. Move. All right, what Help. is this one? We're probably going to look dumb and... It's gonna be obvious. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, the logo well, looks we're really gonna, familiar. We're gonna look dumb and dumber. Stupidness. Stupidness. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's my, my favorite Game Boy game of all time, to be honest. Man, you know what I love about this? What is it? Tell them, they can't it, see it's it. It's different. It's different. Link's Awakening. Yeah, we are, we are accustomed to see the same uh, cover, but look at this. Dude, where did you get this? Honestly, I don't even remember. <laughs> Oh, this is awesome, dude. And I guess this is Kill B O. How you say? Kirby. Kirby. Kirby yeah. <laughs> oh wait, there's one more in my pocket I forgot about. It's oh. uh, the Game and Watch Gallery. Yeah. Oh, what is this? It's a game. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. First, first ever Game Boy game to my brown Game Boy collection. Here you go. And you know what? You were the first one ever to give me stuff to start my Genesis, Genesis collection that's in progress. Look at that, guys. It's going quick. It's going well. Shame on you, Ricky. Ricky. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive! Look, the, oh, look, over here, by the way. nice Niceiness. Nice. Nice this is it. This is it. Don't get scared now. Give me my speakers. I just wanted to show a couple little pickups that I've gotten in the past few weeks that I haven't shown on any videos or anything. The biggest one, the most obvious to me, this PlayStation neon sign right here. I am so hyped to have this. I love the way the Xbox and the PlayStation just kind of work together. They kind of complement each other. I love it. It's probably one of the coolest things I've gotten in a long time and I got it off eBay. With Gabo's help, he ordered it for me and then I Venmoed him because it's before I had an eBay account. Game hunting this long, I've never bought a game or anything off eBay. Did Ricky ever do that for you? He stole my speakers. That counts for something, right? Act like I wasn't mad. Next thing I wanted to point out is that I did hook up. I took this TV out the other day and I saw and I realized there's room for another HDMI port. So I hooked up my Xbox One S to this. That way I can also play 
movies in here and I can have like little movie nights and play next gen stuff as well. I even got a landline going all the way in here. So this is hardwired, fully connected. And oh, thank you, huge shout out to Gamer Aimer because I didn't know what type of TV this was. There's no branding on it. She has a kiosk and she was like, this is the one you need. So I got me this and now it's super as cool. It really works so easy to watch this. Okay. Jay the Generous, the amazing man, also gave me this Sega Genesis inbox. And this thing was mint inside. It has like all the wrappings with it and everything. So I just wanted to give him a quick shout out and thank you, even though he normally is like, you don't need to tell anyone, you don't need to do anything. For me, I appreciate it, it means a lot. I have been playing my Genesis, man. I'm smell loving it. it. I'll smell. Weird. None of that's going on video. <laughs> we are jumping into a Q&A because a lot of people have been asking for one. Let's go, let's do this. Okay. I'm hype. Hi! Oh, ah, okay. First question, Q&A. Gabo submitted some questions. Let's see. Make this clear. We haven't read any of these. I have no, no idea what's coming. First questions come from Bray242. I got a question. How long did it take you to get such a big collection of games, toys, anything? Five years, I would say five years is the short answer for what seemed feasible to get a good collection going. A, a good one where people come over and go like, wow, that's really nice. Gabo, what about you? Uh, probably like three years. Especially my collection grow up a lot since I'm hunting with you guys. I haven't had social media for four years, so, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna scroll, ready? Whatever it lands that I'm asking. Okay, Gabo, Retro Evil asks, one music band that you would turn into a retro video game? Uh, of course, Iron Maiden. Something like Assassin's Creed. Is the, the atmosphere of the game, the settings. There's a mobile for Iron Maiden game that I tried to play. No point. No, it's RPG. It was whack anyway. Yeah, all right. Makes zero sense. Here we go, next question. Windows, Sean, Google. Anything besides what you're collecting right now? You're, PK, you're. Windows, Horns, Woggle. Oh, your interest to start collecting foreign, doubt foreign. <sighs> Basically, is there anything in the future that I might collect for that's piquing my interest? Yeah. Um, Flintstone stuff. It started to pique my interest. I've started to kind really? of- Really? Yeah, I started to kind of dive into it loosely, kind of as a joke, and now I'm really enjoying collecting stuff for Flintstones. I don't know why, it's fun. Me? I already, I think I already said it before, Game Boy games. Probably I will go with Game Gear games too. Scroll, 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 where do I go? If you had to eat a bucket of Someone put a perverted comment. Who was that? How dare you, E. Sir Bindle? Next one is from Latix, and they say, Riff and Gabo, favorite tattoos and most painful tattoos. Favorite tattoo would be my new Link's Awakening tattoo. Is my favorite one that I have. Most painful one that I have would be my bare head on my thigh and my VHS tattoo, my VHS horror tattoo on my lower leg as well. Don't know why, tattoos have never hurt me. I have like 40 of them and only once I went to my legs did it start to hurt. I've never felt pain with tattoos until my legs. Mine is the, of course, Negan Mario. Yes. Or Mario Negan. He hurts. Under my oh. skin. You have skin. Uh. Ricky stole my Genesis speaker. <laughs> Lima Cat Lime 09. Cat was the hardest console to collect and find games for in the wild. Hardest console? So basically, what do we never see while gaming? I can game? go first. What do you think? Turbo Graphics. I was gonna say the same thing. Well, say something different. Uh, besides Turbo Graphics, honestly, in the wild, even when I was hardcore collecting Sega Master System, I oh, never, yeah, I never cool. found it in the wild. I would just find it at stores and buy retail, unless I was at a convention. But that doesn't count. Straight up, while being out. Turbo Graphics and Sega Master System in our area. Your turn. Okay. TBD A Show says, what's your favorite scary movie? Ooh. I like it. As far as being scared, I'm gonna go with the original Amityville Horror. I love that movie. It's one of the first that I saw. Some of the scenes with the preacher and the, the flies in the window used to scare me a lot. But as far as my favorite cinematic movie would be The Ring. The first time I ever saw it, I, it really stood out to me that I felt like I was watching a horror movie that wasn't just like kill, kill, kill. It was like beautiful too to watch, but also yeah. like a beautiful scare. Care. It was interesting. I will say The Exorcist, Ooh, the very first one. Yeah. That movie is funny. 
because I never seen that movie completely. Oh wow. And it's not because I get scared. I get scared. Yeah. But, but that's because I, I never had the chance to watch it entirely. Interesting for me, that movie genuinely was hard for me to watch as a kid because I watched it probably like a young teen when I shouldn't have watched it. But I was very much aware that my grandpa was an actual ex exorcist. Wow. in real life. So for me, it was like a little more real. So it kind of made me, it was like uncomfortable for me to watch because I knew my grandpa really did exorcisms and it was like a That's big cool. deal. Yeah. Yep. I got plenty. I'm gonna exercise you soon. Get the demons out. No, okay. Jeff the RNG. Oh yeah, we met is him it, at GameTown. Yeah, that, he's an awesome guy. Super nice guy. Was the game holds the most precious memory to you and would you recommend it to others. I've talked about it too many times, so I don't really want to talk about it again, but it's definitely Link's Awakening, playing it in the backyard with a tent, with an extension cable hooked up to a Super Game Boy all through the night. That's why I got this tattoo, so I won't go on too long. I will go with the OG very first Halo. Oh, hello. Hello. That's it. Just Halo. Just Halo. That's it. Straight. Here you go. But I love it! Get the Xbox One Limited Edition Bundle. Thank you. Thank you. Please, See? right now. That's, that's Rifo being a dad. Puppy Rifo. I know my children. This one's for Mikey. What's Mikey's top favorite Funko Pop? Yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo. Cool. Whatever, can't man. Say that. I can't put that stuff on camera. <laughs> okay, this goes to Pastor Seth. Pastor Seth, what's By up? the way, so what's the first game you want to play with your daughter? Reef, when you are going to do another sleepover with NES Complex and crew? I already did it. For me, it was Super Mario Odyssey, was I feel like the first game we actually put like real time into with my daughter. Aww. And the next sleepover, whenever everybody's ready, I'm always down. Uh, nothing stops me from sleeping with my friends. Uh, the first one, I think it's gonna be Galaga or Ooh. Tetris. You can teach kids how to be intelligent, make him play Tetris. It's in my head now. Whoa. Oh, that hurts, right? Man, right, this right. guy, you see he's skinny like that? Well, he's strong. Probably it's the legs. So I'm sitting here talking with my good buddy, Tyler from My Retro Life, and we're talking about the Evercade that he got and everything that goes into it. And I was like, hey, Tyler, can you please talk about it so we can put it in our video because I know a lot of people have asked us about it, so it'd be cool if you could tell us about it. So Tyler's gonna take it over for a little bit. Trust me, if you wanna get some info on something, don't get it from me when it comes to this kind of stuff because I'm just like, it's good. Here comes some, some real knowledge. See you in a minute. What's up, Pixel Game Squad? It's Tyler with My Retro Life coming at you with a overview look at the new Evercade portable gaming console. So right away I can tell you that the Evercade was made with collectors like you and me in mind. I mean, the fact that we can buy brand new cartridges, brand new games, physical media, which is such a dying thing right now and it's so sad, it's made for those people who love physical media and want to be able to collect brand new collections and releases of classic games. Let's boot up the system here. This is the Namco Volume 2 cartridge. And as you can see, I'm flipping through. You got, you got, you got a pretty simple menu, pretty simple UI. That's something that I do wish was a little bit better, was maybe, you know, could, could stand to have some menu music. There really aren't a whole lot of bells and whistles here. There are no filters. There's no uh, wallpapers or anything like that. Um, really, all you can do is stretch the game out um, or play four by three. And who, honestly, guys, if you're stretching the game out, if you're stretching out classic games, uh, then, then you, you, we've got a problem here. You've got to stop doing that. Now, one of my other gripes with this is that the, uh, the cartridges the, the physical media that these cartridges come on are, are kind of hard to get out. Like I'm actually, I'm really struggling here. To, and, and maybe this is just my Evercade. It's like really, it's difficult to insert and uh, take out a cartridge. I mean, at least it fits real snug in there, but I don't know, you don't, you don't want to feel like you're breaking it. This is a console that does export to your television. Playing it 
you know, you have to have the HDMI cable coming out into your TV. So playing it is, is, is a little cumbersome. You have to have, make sure you have a really long HDMI cable. And it's, it, it, feel, you know, it feels good to hold the console and use it as a controller, but I do wish that it had the option of uh, like some sort of Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth support would be great for other controllers to connect to it, but currently it does not have that functionality. The build quality is great. It doesn't feel cheap. It, it feels like you know you could even drop it. I'm not going to drop it right now, but it feels like you could drop it in and it'll withstand you know uh, some 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 pain. So uh, that's really good. It's not cheaply made. They come in these clamshell cases, which is super cool. They're uh, you know they're they're smaller than um, they're about the size of uh, the old school Game Gear uh, boxes. If you open it up, you will notice inside there is a instruction manual, and this instruction manual is really cool because it's full color. I love this. Back in the day when dad and I would open up a brand new game and we find a full color booklet inside, it was always a major treat because it meant that the company really was spending some money on uh, the distribution and the, the packaging and what have you. And this is what I really find cool too. Over here on the last page, you've got more collectibles available and it shows you the different game cartridges that are available. And this is so cool because this reminds me of back in the day when you'd get like a catalog in a, in a game. Catalog from 1981. Let me see. You sure it's 1981? Super Breakout. This was our only way to kind of look and see, oh, what's coming out? What's gonna, ha what, what's gonna be on this console that I just bought? And so I love this. I, I really hope they continue doing this. Is it worth it? Is it something that you know, you're know you gonna wanna buy? It's something that I am really, really excited exists because I think it's so cool that there's a new console out there that is dedicated to re-releasing classic games in these bundles, in these collections, and they're so developer-centric. I mean, this just gives me visions of, you know, the, the you know, dreaming of the idea of like a Sega collection. What about Sunsoft? Let's dig a little deeper here. How about Sunsoft or Taito? Again, I'm Tyler with my retro life. It was so cool to get to review this and talk about it for all of you watching. There is a different extended version of this video on my channel right now as we speak. I'm really excited to be uh, contributing new content to Pixel Game Squad. Appreciate it, Riff. Hey, let's go back to you. Okay, I got one. <laughs> this one's gonna be so fun for Ricky. Vinto's Vault says, what's one item you picked up that the other is still jealous of? Uh, I don't know, because whenever I get stuff that I know my friends want, I pass it to them. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Can I answer that for you? Uh, Next one, are you still sad, dude? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> this question goes to butt, Reef and Gabo. <laughs> this tech, this oh. goes to butt? Both. What are you saying? Go to both. Both of Reef and Gabo, okay. <laughs> what are some Switch games you have both been playing lately? And this comes from Little Fat Tie this. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Little fat tie. <laughs> uh, I will say lately I'm playing um, Mercenary Kings. Oh, Mercenary Kings. Mercenary yeah. Kings. Really good. I'll be honest, I haven't been playing the Switch at all lately. I just haven't. Don't know why. No particular reason. Just haven't been playing it. I've been playing other stuff. Give it to me. You can have it. All right. You won't, you won't. Andrew PP96. <laughs> Not a gaming question. But where do you guys stand politically? You won't, you won't. I mean, truth be told, I think Tide cleans my laundry better than Febreze. Um, I think uh, Burger King Whopper is overrated. Uh, is underrated. Oh. For me, it's better than McDonald's. Yeah. Big Mac. Mmm. Yeah. Thanks, PP. I love nuggets. <laughs> I don't like politics, man. Thanks, PP. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. This comes from Rufio1617. What's Reef Holy Grail game? What's Gabo Holy Grail game? That's a good one and a difficult one too. Either Truxton or Musha on the Sega Genesis. Either one of those two. I know they're highly desired and thought of, but I actually have wanted to play Truxton for a long time because of classic game room. I think, I think this guy, uh, what the? 
Answer the question. Yeah, I will say Bionic Commando NES. It's not an expensive game. I thought you just bought that box. Yeah, for me it's a holy grail because I was looking for that game for so long. No. Sir Boy Yo says, what system do you think has better exclusives? PS4 or Xbox One? I want to answer that. Go ahead, it's all you. PS4. And this is the PS4 Slim. I don't like the PlayStation exclusives. That does I have nothing against the games. I know everyone's like, this game, this game, this game. I, I've played them all. Everyone has their opinion. I just don't like them that much. But I still love PlayStation, see? Hey, come on, don't be disrespectful, bro. I'm putting on a different game. Oh, there's an add-on for Google TV. Uh oh, oh, no. I, I, oh, shoot. Creepy Rage, is Gabo going strictly Xbox X series or are you dabbing in both? What is dabbing? Answer. Are you gonna get both or are you gonna like dabble with the idea of getting both or are you just gonna get the Xbox Series X? I'm going to get the Series X and the PS5. Can you focus in this? No. No? No. You are not focusing? <laughs> no, see, I don't focus. <laughs> Dragon Punch says, who's the goofiest out of all of you? That's a difficult one. Yeah. I'm, I will say, in my point of view, it has to be Rifle. That's what most people would probably say. Yeah, well, in my point of view, because I, I cannot say me. I'm stupid and goofy. Mikey's very stupid too, though. Yeah. You, you. <laughs> you cannot say you. I can't say me, then I'm gonna say you. All right, cool. You're just stupid too, though, like me. Ricky can get goofy, but you kinda gotta you get him in the goofy mood. Bro, I... Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I... Yeah. All right. What do you think about the Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai series? Cobra Kai. Oh, I love it. Thanks to this guy. Because he's the one like, oh, dude, you have to watch this season, blah, blah, watch this series. Yeah. It's so awesome. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So me and wife, he watch it. We fall in love. I love how just manly he is. You know, he's a man. Well, not like you, right? It's okay to be a manly man. Well, you're not that man, right? I'm gonna try a little bit. All right, this guy has two questions, so I'm only gonna answer one of them because the first one's kind of long, but thank you, Entertainment For All says, is there a reason Riff doesn't use his first name anymore? For me personally, I think that separating your real name on YouTube is a good idea. Also, if you think about it too, I know I get called out for it because originally I went by my real name, Aaron. But if you think of most YouTube channels, they don't go by their name. You know, they're Happy Console Gamer, they're Beat em Ups, they're, they're Gabo, they're NES Complex, there's Metal Jesus, there's all these names, you know, where most people don't use their real name. So for me, I like separating it. Ever since I haven't had social media for four years, it's been the best thing ever to kind of separate. For me, it's easier to say uh, Rifo than Aram. Ah we do it for Gabo. Ah Kosher Gamer. Kosher Gamer. That's Celia from... Hyperkin. Hyperkin. Previously a Hyperkin. She's not a Hyperkin Oh, anymore. really? Yep. Hi, Celia. Hello. What is your favorite piece of video game merch? Oof. Oof. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Nintendo Power Jackets. I know those don't necessarily count as public merch, but for me, for something that you can get that isn't like an actual video game, but video game related, I'm gonna go with the Nintendo Power Jackets that Archon has, he has them. Yeah, I will go with the Xbox Jackets. They're so cool. Modern. At the end of the day, you have to be a dad, right? Yeah. yeah. Good dad, parents, their children. Oh, yeah. Telesplash Gaming, a guy I love, by the way, said, where did all of you meet and become friends? Also, does Gabo speak Spanish when you were, uh, when you guys are just chilling? A veces, sometimes. Where we all met. Ricky, longtime friend through high school. Mikey, met him when I went to work for an entertainment media company. Gabo, met him from the show. He was a fan of the show, became a friend of the show. NES Complex, I was a fan of his channel before, and then he became a big friend of mine. Mort was actually a fan of the show as well. Met up with him, found out we went to the same high school together and became friends. That's how the squad all met. Dun, dun. <laughs> Social media kills real life. Oh, I like that I name. I really like that name. Reef, top three skateboarders of all time. Gabo, Ooh. top three metal bands of all time. Thanks for the great content. Thank you, so some so the blah, blah. Social media kills. Maiden, Iron Maiden, Slayer, Black Sabbath. Eric Costin, Andrew Reynolds, Jamie Thomas. And three top skateboarders. That was them. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was three of my top skateboarders. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Bro, I... Yeah. Prism7285 says, Riff, when did you start skating? I started skating um, in junior high, got really hard into junior high, 
harder in high school and we got really good. We were really good for a while, me and my buddies. Andy, the old cameraman too, he ripped at skateboarding as well. And it says also, Gabo, where did you, where did the whole happiness catchphrase originate from? You can answer that. Well, I'm gonna answer. Happiness come from a really amazing, one of my favorite now songs ever. Happiness is a warm gun from the Beatles. Yep. He would call, he would message us on WhatsApp just singing it. You know, happiness. And before you knew it, we all got so tired of singing the whole song together, we would just all message each other, happiness. And that's he born. And then it became happiness. We need happiness. Yeah, we need happiness. Someone needs to chill, bro, straight up. This question comes from Red Sea Gaming. Okay. Do you guys spend more time retro gaming than playing new current stuff? And what next gen system you guys going with? I would say I, I'm more, I think in the squad, I'm the one that play more current gen. And yeah, I'm going with both PS5 and Series X. I play mostly arcades and retro right now, currently. Um, and I will be getting a Series X first for a while because uh, it's very affordable. And Game Pass. That's it. CT Ball Cyrax says Funko Pops are the lowest level of pop culture memorabilia and y'all love them. Hey, no y'all. I'm not sticking up for them, but I'm not talking bad either. I don't I go I only, I don't collect them. I only have like 3 that people have sent who watch the show when they see characters that they know I like. Basically he's saying they're crap. If it's a long test text message but That's he's saying you, Mike. they're crap. That's for you, Mike. Well, do you collect them still or not? Uh not anymore. I I stopped. I stopped and I'm planning to sell it to to Mikey. They're just not for us. Mikey's the only yeah. one who really collects them. But that's fine. If you like them, it is what it like is. Yeah. You know. That's what we have. Chocolate, chocolate and vanilla. And vanilla. What and did you say? Chocolate and wine? I'm the best. From Console Colors, OG followers of the channel too says, when travel restrictions are lifted, where would you like to game hunt first? Ooh, that's a good one. I'm dying for just a straight up convention. We, we can go to swap meets here, but I'm dying for like a Retropalooza, a Game On Expo, a Sat Gamers Expo, a, a South Carolina Game Expo. Man, I am dying for the community. The I'm, I'm dying to go to the East Coast Expos. Never been in a East Coast Expos. So, come on, come on, let's be healthy. An anti-hero production. What's hey, up, dude? That's our homie, Edward. What Hello. do you guys think of finding games with rental sticking on them? Ooh, with rental stickers on them. The stickers make it sticker. sticker. I absolutely love it when I find stickers that are retro, not price tags, but like stickers, stickers for KB Toys yeah. and the original stickers. It makes it so much cooler in my opinion. You know, it's just a, it's just like a staple part of physical media that isn't as like, popularized or polarized as I think it should be. I seen the, the stickers from KB Toys, mm -hmm. Toys R Us, and the OG prices, that's amazing, man. And you get sad too, because there used to be a price tag of $2.99, 250 Yeah, look at that beauty. KB oh, Toys, man. that's beautiful. I forgot who was, but I remember the question. The question was like, to you, Rifo, mm -hmm. to me, Gabo, mm -hmm. What you like most, or what is your favorite thing about the other members of the squad? Mmm, I like Each that one. question. Uh, let's start with Mort. I love his reasoning to listen. He likes to listen to me. He likes to ask how I'm doing, and he actually wants to hear how I'm doing. For NES Complex, I love talking to him about video games and real life things. NES Complex will go deep for hours, kind of like him and Mort kind of coincide with each other, the way our friendships work. They're very deep, uh, they're very heartfelt, and it's important. That's very important in this world. For Ricky, it's definitely the long-term friendship. We've been friends for so long, we get to goof around, but we also- Genesis speakers too. and the Genesis speakers and we get just get to be buddies and there's no feeling like you got to be a certain way or anything You got to be you and enjoy it for Mikey I like having fun with him every time me and Mikey hang out. We're just goofing around We almost don't ever talk seriously Well, we do sometimes but not about things that are too deep But we just have fun always goofing around for Gabo It's basically like we got like a new brother for me is what it feels like basically I've had my original brothers, but it feels like I just got another brother added We talk all the time probably more than normal people should talk to be yeah. honest. Okay, for me, I will start with Mort. Uh, Mort is, uh, I can say the same with Mort and Complex. They're like intellectual people, like very intelligent. Yep. And for me, it's a pleasure to sit down yeah. and talk with them because- I Feel like you learned something. Yeah, like I'm learning, like- uh, see? Uh, Holy crap. I will say Mikey, the same Rifo say, Mikey is super awesome. He always makes me smile, man. He's crazy. Mikey's crazy. He goes, what up, dog? What up, what up, dog? 
I would say Ricky is like, he's like a brother, man. I feel like that's my brown brother in the squad. Ricky is so... My brown brother. <laughs> yeah. Ricky is so humble, so yeah. nice, so cool to everybody, not even me, to everybody. And from this guy, I would say this guy is like the same he said. He's like my other brother, a friend, uh, somebody that has been there when I need him. The same here. Sometimes I, you know, we are normal people that have problems. Yep. That has things that happen to us. And sometimes, almost all the time, the first thing that I, the first person that I call and ask for advice or telling what's going on is this guy. He always there. Man, I love this guy. He Brotherhood! Okay. All right, I know there was a ton of questions. Honestly, thank you so much to everyone who asked. We can't answer all. We'd literally be here for hours. This takes yeah. longer than you think. We, we edit out all the, the filler talk. But we promise we're gonna do another one. Yeah, it's fun. It's easy. Yeah, I love doing for this. For me, it's easy content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, look at me, I'm the go. Don't forget. Unsubscribe. unsubscribe. We are not worth subscribing. Leave a bad comment. We definitely leave a bad and comment. Please. Don't do what Ricky do. Don't take your don't friends. Don't be a staller. Wait. Yeah. Oh, I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. It's a microphone or a cat. Dude, it looks like a cat.